Hello, my brothers and sisters of the leaf. Big ol' me. Mini Cigar Review coming at you. So, okay, I'm going to tell you a little story about a guy I work with that loves cigars. He comes to me and says, I didn't know you loved cigars. I love cigars, too. I was like, you do? He goes, yeah, I got one right here with me. I'm like, yeah, let's check it out. I'd love to see your cigar so we can discuss your cigar. So, he whips out his cigar. His cigar is an Arturo Fuente. He's got it in a little one cigar carrying case with no moisture. And uh, he says he likes to smoke them about five minutes at a time. So when he pulls this thing out, the wrapper is almost completely off of it. Uh, he's got the ashes and everything else shoved into the case. It's burning on a 45, was last time he smoked it, burning on a 45 degree angle with uh, the wrap burnt and falling out of his case all over the floor, full of ashes and everything else. Um, he only wants to smoke his cigars five minutes at a time. So he says that cigar will last him four or five days. And this guy says he loves cigars. Well, he doesn't know the first damn thing. That's why I do reviews like this one to tell you the right way to smoke cigars. Okay? Because I don't want people doing crap like that because that's embarrassing. He obviously doesn't love cigars if he's smoking one for five days. Freaking nasty. I'm embarrassed for the guy. All right. So stay tuned for today's mini cigar review. It's a good one. Today's mini cigar review is a Honduran Puro, meaning it's all Honduran tobacco. And you know what that means? Erroa. Christian El Erroa. Also known as CLE, which has some tasty stuff. His father is JRE. JRE stands for Julio R. Erroa. Okay? So check this bad boy out. If you can see, it's Salud Amor Pesetas. This Sorry. particular bad boy in the black wrapper is a Maduro. Okay, Maduro Honduran cigar. Let's unwrap it. See what that looks like. Hey, look at that wrapper. There is almost zero veins in that thing. It's a little just a touch toothy. Just a touch, if you can see that, looks good. All right, this looks awesome. It's 60 by six, so it's a good size cigar. Oh, that smells good. One thing I noticed is whenever I open up my little Herfidor, door, this dominates all the other cigar because it's way aromatic. Oh, it smells good, really good. Ooh, over the top, solid shoulder, solid construction, beautiful, heavy, not bad at all. Woo. God, there's so many delicious scents in there. Wow, it's like, it's earthy, but you can smell like graham cracker. Spice, maybe a little nutmeg. Wow, it's gingerbread. That's what I'm getting, gingerbread. Yeah, gingerbread. Wow, let's cut this thing and start smoking. I am stoked. By the way, did I mention this is $9.32? On the dry drop, which I almost forgot to do. Mm. Same flavors. Mm. Beautiful draw. This is gonna rock, I can tell already. Delicious, right off the bat. That's how much, like the first two puffs, man. Okay, it's solidly constructed, firm shoulder. Puts on a lot of smoke. Yeah, the flavors are good. So if this thing burns evenly, it's gonna be just freaking kick butt. Oh, so and by the way, I want to cheers you guys. Salud, amor, pesetas, health, love, and money. Cheers, boys and ladies. So let's see what the flavor profiles do. Okay. I'm gonna get on the road, go down the road, enjoy this puppy, and I'll be right back with you to let you know. Okay, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it, I really do. All right guys, hour and 15 minutes in, okay? She's about done, down to the nub, okay? This is one of the most delicious, flavorful cigars I have ever had. All the flavors, uh, and there's a lot of them, okay? Gingerbread, cola, roasted nuts, cinnamon, 
a lot of cinnamon, like cinnamon toast. It's got a cherry licorice flavor that's prevalent. I'm telling you, man, this has got so many flavors that are sweet and delicious. Cream, okay, coffee. Uh, Jeff at Selwood, I need a box of these. It's got like a corn nut flavor to it, okay? Um, the only bad thing, and I'm really telling you right now, I'm not kissing butt, this is my fault. I let this dry out a little bit, just a little. Okay, so the way I can tell I let it dry out a little bit is I had to slide the uh, cigar band up on the shoulder because it started to crack a wee bit, and I know that's from it being dry, all right? And also, it had a pretty funky burn, okay? But it corrected itself, but the ash was all fly away. You know what I'm saying? It's like ash is popping off, flying around in the air like snow, okay? So I think that's all my fault. Okay, so this Aroa Maduro, six by 60, $9.35. I'm getting a box of them. Fantastic, box-worthy cigar. Go get you a box of these. They kick butt. So if you're willing to watch me blather on and on and on and on and on, I guess I could do that. So let me know what you think. So anyway, that is your mini cigar review of the day. Thank you for watching. Oh, and the guy in the beginning of this review, he was corrected in his behavior and his treatment of cigars. You didn't think I'd let him walk around like that, did you? I wouldn't.